Flying with Skates, back at it again, here with another great video for you guys today. All right, y'all, good morning. We are, it's Saturday first. Let's start there, it's Saturday, right? And y'all, we don't have a trip, but my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. We might be going to Accra, we'll know in an hour or so. I think I'm gonna get the trip, but I don't wanna like get myself excited and then I get it. But it's Saturday, I've been working three days. I'm never off this long unless I'm just tired. And I haven't, been getting, I haven't been able to get any real sleep. But yeah, um, <laughs> I gotta go return some stuff to Amazon and I need to do something else. But I can't remember what I need to do. So yeah, let me show you how cute this little outfit is. It's so cute, I got it from Target, let's see. How cute this is. It's definitely tall girl friendly for sure, okay? It's like a little sweatsuit. It's pink. I got this in a medium and I got this in a small. Okay, y'all, we did get a trip. So we are going to commute today. We're gonna to go from Atlanta to JFK, JFK to Ghana. Um, I am on the 430 jump seat out of LaGuardia. So I have a confirmed seat. When you are jump seating, you do have a confirmed seat basically on the jump seat and they cannot turn you away unless you are not in a proper attire. But I'm gonna show you guys how I get ready as a flight attendant to get ready to go to my trip and how I commute to work. So when I commute or I wanna commute, my commuting tips on how I commute to work. First, you want to plan your schedule, make sure you know your schedule. Then you wanna book the jump seat. You can book the jump seat five days out in advance um, or even sooner. No, you can't. You can put the jump seat out five days out. Um, I want to check the weather. Let's see what the weather looks like in New York. I know the weather is bad in New York right now because Wiz told me, but we're coming in a little later and we're going to see what it's looking like. So the weather in New York right now is windy. It's windy, windy conditions will continue for the rest of the day, which is fine. I gave myself a couple hours if we are delayed or anything else. You wanna give yourself two backup flights. I give myself three backup flights sometimes. <laughs> um, so give yourself backup flights. We can use other airlines when we are commuting to and from work. Um, so I have, um, what is this called? I have the Staff Traveler app and you can look at different flights and see what they have. Let me see, hold on. You can see what flights they have. Um, like I said, I'm flying on our own metal today, so I'm kind of good on that part. So we're good. So those are my first couple tips. I am gonna, Already meal prepped, so we don't have to meal prep. I'm already kind of packed, but I'm gonna show you guys how I packed and what I meal prepped for this trip. Let me know if you guys want a full in-depth meal prep video. Leave um, a food emoji, if they have a food emoji, in the comments below if you guys want a heavy meal prep video, okay? It's gonna be long, it's not gonna be long though, but I feel like it's gonna be lengthy. I did go to I did go to TJ Maxx because I need some drawer organizers for my kitchen. I'm still in the process of like getting my home together. Oh, it's three in here. So let's see if it's gonna fit into the drawer. That did not fit anything in there. So what I'm gonna do is I made some oyster mushrooms and they're fire. Mm -hmm. When it comes to commuting, it's important to back these things with you because you just never know. Get you a rechargeable battery pack. Having an airplane blanket is always a great tip for a commuter. You never know when you may have to sleep in the airport. Just saying. Also, let's utilize Minute Suites. They have a great one. If you have American Express, they also give you a discount. When you have a couple of hours and you go to bed, 
you need to get some time away from everybody, use Minute Suites. They're, in, they're available in most airports. And what is Minute Suites? So basically, it's like a suite in the airport where you can take a shower, where you can sleep at. I'm just sleep overnight. It's actually really cheaper than staying in a hotel in certain expensive places. A crash pad. Crash pads are a must. Sometimes you don't want to have a crash pad, but sometimes it's good to have a crash pad because they come in handy. During the summertime, I am going to utilize it in a crash pad so I can work as much as possible without coming home too often. They can range from anywhere from $250 to $500. Mm -hmm. So we said utilize crash pads. Ooh, also, phone a friend. If you have a friend, try a friend at a training. Maybe either share hotel rooms together or, uh, get, or rent a place in the city that you are based in. Commuting is, what is commuting? Commuting is being based in a hub or a base and you live in a different city. For example, I live in Atlanta, but I work out of JFK. Okay. The struggle will always be this time. y'all these are from Kroger because I have not found a good pantyhose brand just yet so I'm gonna be using these until for the notice A bad match. Hopefully they last. Ten seconds. I ripped my pantyhose. The color actually looks not that bad. I just don't like the white cast on it. But here we are. Gabrielle by Chanel.
Okay, y'all, we're back in JFK. Okay, a little makeover or whatever. Okay, y'all, so we just cleared KCM. I didn't get right them here or in Atlanta. Christmas gifts, y'all. Hey, y'all, we made it on the aircraft. I'm flying at Midlife Freight Center. <laughs> I've been in this position before, but on a different side. From Ghana, really afternoon. It's morning in America, but afternoon in um, morning in America, but it's afternoon in Ghana. <clears throat> went to get some lunch, y'all. We went out last night and had a ball. I'm gonna insert the clips for y'all because we had such a good time. We went to Bella Freak. Food was really good, but we didn't even eat. So we're gonna go there today and actually really eat because we did not eat, y'all. Um, this is 30 hours in Ghana. Listen, I say this all the time. I cannot do everything on every single layover, y'all. Sometimes I'm just really tired, and really exhausted. Sometimes I might not even have the money or it's not even my budget to go out. So I just can't do everything. As a flight attendant, you gotta know your boundaries and know when you can go out, when you can't go out. And this is the moment of that. We're gonna have so much international travel this year, y'all. Um, I have an announcement coming soon. I'll let you guys know in March about that announcement. I ain't gonna say it right now because I don't wanna <laughs> jinx myself or anything. Um, and, and I wanna stay humble about the situation. But we are about to go get some food because your girl is so hungry. So let's go do that. I'm going out with the crew. We'll just walk remember. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Let's go. So they're cleaning the pools. We have no pool right now. Y'all seen this before. This outfit is so cute and it's so what do you call it? It's so um, springtime appropriate. Beautiful people, we just got back from the market. I got a few things. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so we went to the market. We go to the market. This bag is so cute. It's a tote bag. I got my shoes cleaned. <laughs> or should I have my, 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 I got my shoes polished while I was here, as always. They gave us a good price. Shout out to Rachel. She got me this Shea Butter Shop. Okay, what is this? She got me a gift box, a gift box with multiple things in it. So we have Shea Butter, Black Soap, Body Lotion, times two, 
And I think this has, what is this one? This is a body butter balm, and it smells really good. It's lemongrass in it, chef's kiss. Some shea butter, um, black soap. I don't know where she got this from, but it was super nice. And it's like a Christmas card. Thank you, Rachel. So now let's do like a mini, now let's do a mini, what we got from the art center. So this is the bag. Listen, you gotta negotiate. <laughs> negotiate when you are at the market. This is like the thing to do when you are in Africa. This is like a whole Africa thing. Like nothing is at a set price here. So you can negotiate. If you don't know, I am a fan of jollof rice. Jollof rice is like a, it's a, it's a, it's a dish. It's a rice dish. It's spicy. It's super good. Really full of flavor. I got the seasoning for that here. It smells just like jollof rice. <laughs> mm, this might be good. I'm gonna make jollof rice tomorrow. A couple of my flight attendant friends asked me for some shea butter when I came back to Ghana. So I got them some shea butter. Mango shea butter. And the lady was, well, she, they had the big old block of shea butter. I'm gonna put that on the screen as well for you guys. And then, my moo that I bought last time, y'all, <laughs> I put it in the laundry with my work outfit and my pen was in there and it exploded in the dryer. This mumu here is so cute. It's like a throw on dress. <laughs> it's something you can wear around the house on my layover and I'm just chilling. And I also got a couple of, um, these are the exfoliant towels and they're from Africa, y'all. So I got a couple of these. And yeah, that's my little grocery haul. I keep saying this, being a flight attendant is really expensive when you have so much to do on international layovers. The gym pickup is at eight o'clock. But I wanna go to the gym so that I can be ready for work. Let's go. Oh, hey, it's my truck. Work. All right, y'all, we are going back to New York. We have an 11 hour and 36 minute flight. And I mean, the tailwinds or the headwinds is going crazy, so. Longer flight for us. I'm on first break. I'll see you guys in New York. If I don't, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's video. We out. Bye. As a commuter, it's always important to book your jump seats to and from work. I set timers to remind myself to book my jump seats to and from work. These are the commuting flight attendant tips from a flight attendant. Y'all, I got back from Accra at 6 a.m. this morning. We did not take off until like 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Talk about time wasted. We could have been home at 11 a.m., but due to not having enough de-icers, we did not, we were not able to get de-iced. What is de-icing? <laughs> I'm gonna put this here for you guys on what the icing is. But basically, the icing is basically getting the ice off of the tail 
and the wings so that the aircraft can fly safely y'all um in new york we have the ices but we don't have enough of the ices probably right now clearly because we waited for so long um i'm a commuter i didn't get paid for that because i chose to commute it is what it is but anyways y'all i'm about to head home i'm actually off for a couple of days i might pick up and if i do pick up i'll let you guys know make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments on what's your favorite commuting flight attendant tip thanks for watching